Hello, my name is E.L. Murray, Elizabeth Rose Murray, and Caramel Hearts is my second book. It's my first book for young adults, so as you can probably tell, I'm really excited about it um, hitting the shelves. So what is Caramel Hearts about? It's the story of 14-year-old Liv Bloom. Her mum has an alcohol addiction and is in a recovery centre. Her dad's not on the scene, so Liv's been looked after by her elder sister, Harriet. Um, Caramel Heart is all about Liv trying to find her place in the world. It's a story of family and friendship, addiction, disappointment, but also hope. Um, it's all about getting to grips with your life and the people in it, no matter how dysfunctional they are. By the time we reach the cave, Mum's mood has changed. The air is flat and damp. The wild free winds are left outside. I think, please don't let Mum get angry. You'll always be that way, I guess, says Mum. You've got my blood, Liv. That's the problem. Bad blood. In Caramel Hearts, Liv finds a cookbook that was handwritten by her mum. And um, it's full of cake and biscuit recipes. So Liv decides to start baking these recipes. And this brings her on a voyage of discovery about herself and her family. There are real cake recipes all the way through the book, so feel free to try them out, bake them, send me pictures of how wonderful they are, and don't forget to enjoy eating them too, because that's the good bit. The recipes are weaved into the story, and I hope that they help to bring some light and balance out some of the darker areas of the book. I squash my chin onto my knees as hard as I can, trying to make a bruise. A bruise helps to take your mind off things. When you poke it, all you think about is the pain, and you forget the bad stuff. The main character, Liv, is dealing with lots of different issues, and so there are, like I said, um, some pretty dark elements. To me, this was necessary because I wanted the story to be believable and realistic and I want it to resonate with anybody who's ever been affected by addiction in some way. Um, I certainly have at different times in my life, but this isn't an autobiographical book as such. This is Liv's story. However, the emotions involved, they're very real. Um, those feelings of shame or blame, anger and disappointment, um, being able to pick up on the nuances and knowing where certain behaviours are going to lead when everyone else in the room is oblivious, um, that to me is very real and that's the autobiographical element that I hope will resonate with the reader. And so there you have it, Caramel Heart. Family, friendship, addiction, disappointment, hope, love and cake. I hope you enjoy it. I'd love to know what you think so feel free to write a review or contact me through the website um, ermurray.com and thanks so much for listening. I hope this video has given you a taste of what to expect. Um, and thanks again for all your support. Happy reading. <laughs>